Well, it's been pretty nice and warm today, but uh, geez, that is a terrible, terrible sight. I think we might switch it around. So, uh, yeah, we well, might hook onto that spread and try and get some of this lime, this twist of lime spread, because uh, well, we're not going to get much else done. It's a bit cooler now. I know uh, I was a little wary of going out middle of the day because. Um, there are some old bearings on it, and um, on the stubble, I mean, you could potentially have a, one of them fail and uh, start a nice fire, uh, which is not what you want to do. So I figure that might be one safer for the uh, evening run. Uh, we'll probably, uh, yeah, no, so we'll probably do that. We might spread the um, MOP, if we get this out of the way, uh, maybe tonight and tomorrow morning we might get onto the MOP later tomorrow at some stage. That we can probably do in the middle of the day. We won't start any fires with the, with the linkage spreader, that one I'm, I trust. But um, yeah, anyway, it's March, let's get something done. It's not very nice from our other jobs when it's about 40 degrees, but uh, you know, as long as we're doing something it's not so bad. A quick pit stop, greasing and uh, tyre check and then I guess out in the paddock. We've fueled up. What a time to be at it. Alrighty, here we go. What a time. 20 past 8. We forgot we had to reformat a, um, a uh, USB. Let's see if the map fixes the mapping issue in the other tractor. Ah oh, well, yeah, it be what it be. Right. Let's get this twist of line. Get into this. Handed. That's always fun. I'm sure I've got this quite right, but anyway. We might park somewhere else next time. I'm not sure we parked in the right spot, but anyway, it'll be what it'll be. I will fill this up. Well, I think it might be full. Someday we better build the extensions for this if we're not going to get a, another one. And I do like the idea of getting a twin spinner spreader at some stage, but I guess this has done the job so far. We haven't got a lot to do, but uh, I'm always looking to improve. We should be doing that. Now I'm guessing it should, the setting should be about right. Uh, what we had the gypsum on last year it should uh, work the same for this, so I guess we'll uh, try it out and see. But that was about a ton to the acre, and that's what we've got to do this two, two, two and a half ton to the hectare. So we'll, uh, we'll go and see how we go, I guess. Oh, here we go. It's putting it somewhere, I think. Uh. Twist of lime. A twist of lime, as it were, but um, no, it'd be good to get out of the way. We've got actually got another 60 ton coming if they uh, get organised. Um, we'll probably have a bit more to do, but uh, it, was, it was reasonably priced for this year. Uh, new pit over on the uh, where was it? Fair way away, anyway, about 200 k's away, but it was actually well priced. Supposedly high quality lime, so I only have to put out half as much which by the time you take freight and everything into account actually works out quite reasonable so uh, this turned out via well, the soil test to be quite acidic so um, well, on the acidic side anyway so this should hopefully uh, rectify that alright I better get back to concentrating on what I'm doing oh wow that's a bit rough oh, we're gradually getting it worked out getting the rate worked out ah 
it's uh, <laughs> nice in here, it's still about 32 or 33 degrees, and it's, uh, what is it, about 20 past 9 I think, something like that, yeah, nearly half past 9. Nice warm night, I think 40 again tomorrow, so a uh, bit of that uh, warm water. Anyway, you got to have a summer to have a winter or something like that, I guess. Well, we're getting there. Not a lot left now. Might no, maybe two or three, something like that. But I guess we're... How are we going with this? Yeah, about... Yeah, probably about on par. About on par, I think. Very good. Oh, we might even get it done tonight. That would be great. Another job out of the way and... Yeah. Beautiful. We're almost finished, but we have an issue. That belt's loose, but I don't know if that's the, the full problem. It needs, uh, I think these bearings just about done, which is that, that was exactly what I was worried about doing it in the heat of the day, because that bottom bearing will be hanging in the stubble. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but um, I don't know whether I can even tighten that up. This one might get some grease and just see whether we can just sort of pump it full because we've only got two fills left and then that's it for that. I mean, there'll be more later, but I think before I do any more, it's going to have to have the bearings and belts and everything renewed. So anyway, but you just get this done, that'll be great. Well, more grease seemed to do the trick for now. It didn't feel like it was stiff, but it's um, certainly spinning a lot better. I think in the safety of caution, I won't do the belt up tighter. I don't know whether it will go much tighter anyway, but I wouldn't be doing it, doing it up tighter until I'll uh, we'll put in a new belt until there's new bearings there. Too big a risk. It's a bit of a safety thing. If it jams up, it'll just slip and uh, not get start dropping uh, hot metal in this paddock. So there's that. Oh, well, we'll see if we can get this last little bit out and then, uh, yeah, it needs a little bit of work. <coughs> Went for a little bit, now it's no good. Felt it, it's hot, we're getting out of here. Uh, I don't want to start a fire. I know it's the middle of the night, but it's still would bloody burn pretty well. There's no doubt about that. It's just funny, just almost finished. Almost. Almost, but not quite. Uh, it's three in the morning. <laughs> I thought we'd be finished by about half past two and we've, uh, we almost got there and we've tried our best. We've only got maybe another four tonne after this to put out. So what all up about, yeah, seven tonne to go out of the 60. But yeah, it's just belt slipping, but that's obviously that bearing it was so hot down there and it's not spinning properly so there's obviously um needs a new bearing and that is just too dangerous too dangerous altogether that's why i took the fire um fire extinguisher out as well but i was worried the last thing you want to do is make a fire have a fire like, like i said it's the middle of the night but it's still probably about 27, 28 degrees and tinder dry and it'll burn just as well at night as it will during the day. Anyway, we're we'll going to get the other tractor and we'll prepare for the next job, which will be spreading the mop because we we're not going to, we got close, but we're not going to finish this until. I don't think I have a bearing for it, so um, just have to get one. And it's a holiday Monday. Not the end of the world though, because we're early. Funnily enough, years ago when we spread the lime in, uh, I don't know, February or March we had issues. When I, was, when I was borrowing a spreader. So obviously it's just a thing. You're not quite allowed to get ahead, which does seem to be a um, trend of this year. It's been um, very hard to get ahead. 
same with that bloody trailer. Unbelievable. Anyway, you do what you can do. Well, it's been a hot Sunday. But uh, I think now is a good time to uh, put the spreader on and go and spread some of this mop. You know, one of those jobs we get out of the way now. Don't have to do it later. I rested up after a late night last night. Did a bit of tax work. Let's look at that red. Funny turpentine smelling stuff. My old paint apparently. There you go. Here we are again. Spreaders. Oh, time to sort of take the legs off. For the start of its uh, tenth season. Wow, ten seasons. Shame we didn't have Y cells. Would have been worth the extra ten k. Then again, uh, shame it wasn't a bit bigger and could spread thirty six feet. Uh, thirty six feet. Thirty six meters. So that'll be the only thing that's uh, maybe one day we'll have to get another one. Maybe if we get a different spray and we want to line the spray spray and uh, spreader tracks up. But for now, it's not happening. They've gotten stupid expensive for what is just a box with a couple of spinners. Um, yeah, it's pretty over the top, I guess, like everything these days. But uh, yeah, especially um, for what they are. Alrighty, well we're inching closer to making a start. Oh, it's a shame we didn't have to SOA, we're going to finish every, all the preceding spreading, but uh, well, this will be better than nothing. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's slide it, have a drink, get going, see what we can do tonight. If we don't do today, we'll finish tomorrow. It's a bit darker when you're loading uh, your rear. Sort of reflects a bit of light, and makes it brighter without a bit awkward without lights, and then the lights don't work on this track at the moment. Well, when we're out here doing it, I know it's running a bit quick. We did slow it up, but it seems probably needs to be slowed up a little bit more. We've seen where there's a little bit of cow chop to be sprayed, which we knew about beforehand, but the only thing that's been stopping me doing that has been the weather. Well, I should have been probably done a few days ago, but it's just been impossible. Hot and windy first thing in the morning. I think it'll be the same tomorrow morning too. Ah oh, well. We'll do what we can. Anyway, and while we're at it, the reason for spreading. So, we've identified this uh, deficiency, potassium. Which is a bit surprising, we don't pale straw but uh, definitely improved the wheat last year where I used it and um, wheat is the, gets the most benefit from it so um, you can uh, drill 25 kilos underneath it but I'm also spreading 100 kilos before and that will allow for crop safety so that's the reason for that I think we might uh, leave it there for the time tonight and uh, we'll get back at it in the morning because probably not going to gain much, go another hour, hour and a half. Might as well just go to bed, get some sleep and get up an hour and a half earlier. So there's that. I'm pretty tired. Let's uh, do that I think. See you in the morning folks. Morning. Certainly another warm day today. I think 39 or 40 again. Let's get this, uh, we've got two more uh, fields to put out, so we'll get this one, it's a little bit breezy but not that bad, so we'll uh, put one out then hopefully try and knock it off, that would be great, another brick in the wall as they say. Alright, now by daylight, not as the most interesting thing ever but... This is 
bit easier to see your left. Oh, look at this. A uh, little bit jittery on that. Uh, that's a bit of a concern. Not sure quite what's going on there. in there. Anyway, two hands is easier. I had a bit of a squeak last night, a bit of a double check. Everything looks okay, but it doesn't, everything looks all right. I just wanted, just wanted to double check the idle pulleys uh, and make sure there's no bearings going out. But just an observation, they uh, made this so successfully uh, guarded you can't even get your fingers in there to bloody just make sure just uh make sure they're all tight so that's a bit of a nuisance but they look okay so i suppose we'll start it up and just see um anyway it doesn't look like there's anything wrong i think it might have just been the belt itself anyway we'll go from there it might have been a rat up there a bastard what the hell usually keep it down to try and keep things out of the the bonnet, especially the air cleaner. That's um, not so good. Yeah, so anyway, I don't think they were there very long. But that's, um, that's something to be wary of. Bloody hell. I don't think it, I can't see whether it's done any damage. Not yet anyway, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Bloody rats. Oh, another Chevy would have put a trap in. Yeah, no, nothing under the, just double checking, nothing actually on top of the motor. Yeah, that's slightly leaking a little bit. We had the issue with that one years ago, the other one. I see there's a slight, slight leak. Uh, it's the most ridiculous coupling now. That's uh, almost impossible to replace. Um, so we learned our lesson, don't go anywhere near that. Not unless you're prepared to work on it. Uh, yeah, so after, before seeding, anyway, once we get this this sort of uh, tranche of work done, this needs coolant, engine oil, transmission oil, all done. And all the other assorted hubs and axles. Due for a proper service. And clean up, and then it should be ready for another, another spin for a while. I'm pretty sure it's just the belt. All the pulleys look to be true, running true. Belt is sort of slip there, yeah, belt. We might need to look at getting a new one, that's uh, maybe. Well, he's having one on hand. Probably seen getting towards the end of its days. Well, getting it done. We might, uh, well, we should see how what's left after this, whether we have a uh, test strip or um, try some uh, potassium uh, silicates, which is another option to see how they perform compared to mop. Um, yeah, nice and warm though. Definitely nice and warm. I think it's about 35 or 36 degrees now. It might even be hotter. What a lovely late summer. Can you see that? It just ticked over 3,000 in the T6. So who said we don't do any hours in the tractor? It's a touch over 300 a year. I mean, that's not huge numbers, but it's not nothing. So it spread away. We'll just tidy this up, might uh, put that other old fur in this other bay in front of the mop. Uh, so we have all the, so we use that up first this year. And in theory, have enough space for what's coming tomorrow. 25 tonnes of map. Uh, we've got a bit more map in, uh, in Balak there as well, but that'll, we won't have room for that until we use a bit. So there's that as well. All right. Do this and I better go and have a drink. It is hot now, real hot. Back, but then 
It's funny how it varies. It's green, isn't it? Yeah. Bloody stuff. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than it has been, but it, it still should have been cheaper than it is. Yeah, what's it worth? How this is 1055. And that was as cheap as you could get when I. It'll come down, but you just won't get it in time. Yeah. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, nearing the end of this uh, water tank, I think. Good lord. To rebale this thing, it looks terrible. Still overweight, I think, as well. Alrighty, first things first. I reckon this uh, it might be both bearings of the stuff. We've got to get this belt off and see how the spinner's going. Everything else seems relatively free. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll loosen, take this belt off, and then we'll get a better idea what's happening here. All right, Claude, we found out <laughs> these bearings are absolutely bucket, and they pump grease into them, but no good. They are stuffed, so probably both need replacing. Ah, uh, that'll be fun. I think we'll just take the whole lot off. Because, um, good luck getting to it otherwise. Yeah, no, this bearing's actually okay. Well, okay, but we might replace that one too while we've got it off. Bottom one's the one that's actually, um, causing the issues. That would make sense. The bottom one was hot. That was hot because the belt was slipping, so... Makes sense. Now for the fun. So in theory, it should be locked against the turn. So you would go the normal way it turns to unlock it. I think that's right. However, I'm not sure whether they did that. So we will go the other way and see whether that works. Locking collar unlocked. Yeah, wow. Nice. No wonder. No wonder it's the way it is, anyway. All right. See how we go now. We might want a dose of uh, RP7 or something, because I reckon that's gonna. That looks like fun. And loads of it to boot. All right. Well, look who's back. So I've got a now. Job has come to find some. Uh, Parts, so you can see number plates are gone. I yeah, kind of expected that. Get this back into operating shape. Maybe re register it. But definitely get it into operating shape, that's the first thing. <sighs> what a time to be alive. Good news it's going somewhere. That's excellent. And that's always a relief when you can pull these things off without having to resort to all sorts of trickery which may have been well i've got heat and everything but we've got it off without the heat or anything so that's kind of nice and without having to destroy the bearing make it easier to get the next one well we got it all apart that's nice so uh and we kept that in one piece so that's also good that's been replaced before this thing, yeah, I don't know if we get a number, but it doesn't matter. We've got it all in one piece. We've got to get the bearing for that. Probably get another lock and collar as well. All good things. Well, another day, another spraying adventure. We've well, got a few little patches. We've got a little bit of spraying to finish off our summer spraying program. Program, that makes it sound very official, doesn't it? Uh, just got a few cow chop and a few, you know, a bit of potato weed and a few melons to chase. And then that'll probably be it, I would hope. Ah, that'll do for this one. So we're just out here patching it out. So yeah, a few cow chop over there. Like I said, probably should have been sprayed two weeks ago, but uh, they're still green and flowering. Um, just weather hasn't cooperated. Absolutely no way we could have got them done anyway. We've got it done now. So I got that and then the other the old place over there, you've got to cover most of the paddocks and uh, cow chop and uh, melons. And then we've got some potato weed in the uh, canola paddock at home. 
So we'll just tidy all that up and then we can uh, part the spray hopefully until April. I hope. And the right fella. And that buggy, the uh, wind wasn't too bad coming out here and it picked up. Combine that with the fact that it's quite it's warming up now, I think we better give it away. Otherwise we'll uh, just be wasting it. And we don't want to do that. So we'll come come back tomorrow and uh, try and patch this out. That's the plan anyway. And then I've only got that other, some potato weed to spray over in the other paddock with a bit of paraquat. And that will be hopefully the end of the summer slash autumn spraying until we get to seeding.